intense. Hello fellow fragrance lovers, so let's see what this uh, smells like. I'm so excited to be getting the Linto D Intense from Givenchy. So I have the Linto D, the original one. I got a sample of it from the perfume shop, tried it, loved it, so I ordered um, the box set. Is it called a box set or a gift set? And that came with like a teeny tiny little mascara and a lipstick. And when I ordered this one, imagine my surprise. I didn't even realize it, but it came with a little shimmer, I don't know, shimmer powder. Yeah, some shimmer powder, which is like a nice goldy thing. So that's pretty awesome. I was just happy to buy it regardless of whether it came with a free gift anyway. But yeah, I am so super excited to finally be getting this. So I got a sample uh, based off of uh, one of my favorite perfume YouTube channels, 50 Cents UK. And she was talking about this. So I got the sample from the perfume shop and I tried it. I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. So it's got black pepper as a top note, which you get at the opening um, of this oh there it is so it gives it like a really zingy spiciness at the opening but it doesn't last uh throughout um the middle notes are tuberose and orange blossom and i have to say that it does the tuberose really really well it's not overwhelming or overpowering so i found that my skin chemistry it makes it it really enhances tuberose it just really makes it go <laughs> So it can sometimes be a little bit overwhelming, but on this one, it isn't. I love how it evolves and how it develops throughout the day. Uh, the base notes, it's got Madagascan vanilla, it's got some patchouli, it's got some vetiver. But the patchouli in this one, it's not as heavy as in other things, like say the La Via Belle or anything like that. I find that the patchouli is quite understated here and there's more of an emphasis on the vanilla. So I get the, the vanilla is very strong with this one compared to the original uh, Linta D. I would say that one of the biggest differences is that this one has got more of a vanilla focus, like that's really been amplified. But mm, it's really, really beautiful. And you've got like, um, it's like a musk vanillic mix and the orange blossom really comes through. It's a creamy orange uh, scent, if that makes sense. Like, a, but then you put in some vanilla in there but it's got a beautiful creaminess once you get past the spicy opening and every time I wear this I feel yummy I feel classy it's such a beautiful fragrance I have to say that on me this lasts ages easily up to 11 hours I still have it on me and I don't have to put nose to wrist in order to smell it. So for me, I score perfumes very highly based on that performance. I don't necessarily have the time to remember to come and spray stuff on. So I do like it when a perfume can last a long time and I don't have to look for it. And this, it does that. Um, 
So longevity on me is fantastic. The sillage is beautiful because even my husband is kind of like, oh, I can spot that because now he helps me to test the perfume sillage by telling me whether he thinks it's a close skin scent or he's like, oh, that's a beast mode. <laughs> but yeah, this one is really, really good. It's such a beautiful fragrance. And I felt that it was different enough to the original Linter D for me to actually get this. So with this one, actually, I find that I reach for this a lot more than I do the Linter D. So with the original Linter D, I do feel I have to be in a certain mode, like in a certain mood for it to appeal to me, for me to want to wear it. Whereas I'm finding that I've got more occasions, more situations where I feel that this one is wearable. Which surprised me because I kind of thought that the intense version of a perfume is supposed to be possibly less wearable than uh, the original one. But this one, mm, I love it. And also the bottle is beautiful. It's a black bottle with like um, the glasses on the outside. And then you've got the, the black lining on the inside. And it's got that same Givenchy sign over there. Very simple very, very classy. So thanks again, 50 Cents UK. My bank isn't grateful to you, but I love this. I love this and it's such a great addition. And I can see myself wearing this even in early spring as well. I think that it could work. I'm also quite, I think it could also work in in summer like during summer nights i can see this kind of working it smells beautiful unlike say the givenchy linta d which for me when i tried it when i was wearing it it was definitely winter winter at no point in my mind did it ever occur to me that i could wear this in any other season whereas this i was kind of like i think that you could work um in summer <laughs> so yeah Thank you so much for watching uh please like and subscribe it really helps the channel and i appreciate that i will be doing a lot more unboxings a lot more perfume reviews a lot more perfume hauls and just general chat about perfumes until i see you next time bye